Hey guys, check this out. So this is our second ball python that we picked up after getting back into the reptile hobby. We got this guy from Baller's Garage, and I believe he's out of Connecticut. And unfortunately, I feel bad I forget his first name. Super cool guy though. We always see him at the Manchester, New Hampshire Expo, which is actually where we bought this guy from. This is a super orange dream yellow belly. And uh, nothing else that we know of. And uh, when I first saw this guy, he was like super, super orange, obviously. And uh, the crazy thing is, is he's like over two years old and he's, I think, 1,400 grams. No, 1,200 grams or so. He's in that range. And he's just gotten brighter. Like he's obviously got these little melanin spots that have come up. But his oranges have done almost the same thing a desert ghost has done. They haven't dulled out or browned out. They've just gotten brighter and brighter and brighter. It's crazy. He he went from being like super orange to like this macaroni and cheese kind of orange color. And he's actually one of the most social ball pythons that we've got. He's super calm. He's super socialized as well. All of our kids absolutely adore this guy. And he come, gets taken out all the time. Nearly every, you know, multiple times a day, I would say. But he's got a super, super dark head. He's almost got those like Mario sort of uh, mustache marks on his jaws. On his, well, under his heat pits, which are really cool. And you can actually see a lot of his iridescence. But he's just an amazing animal. He's got a nice little ringer. And when we first bought him, I thought he was het pied until I did a little research. He wasn't listed as het pied. And I, I suppose there's still a chance, but I mean, just for being a super orange dream, compared to a lot of the orange dream stuff I've seen listed on Morph Market and, and, and other places, he's just, he's holding his color like he's got something else but it's just amazing. And uh, can't wait to hopefully one day produce some super orange dream desert ghosts um, further down the line. Um, I've seen a few people that have done that. And uh, they look absolutely amazing. I think Aussie Boyds has done that. I wanna say Muscles and Geeks might have might have done it. Wesley, you'd have to correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, it's just, there's just so many, so many cool things about ball pythons. He's got that little heart mark, or sort of a little heart mark on his head. This guy's just amazing, though. Look at that. He's beautiful. Anyway, guys, just wanted to show him off. And uh, We don't really have a whole lot of plans for him other than to uh, produce some Super OD stuff. But he was uh, the second snake we got in, or got after getting back in, and... We just couldn't pass him up. He was legitimately one of the nicest animals at that expo. And he was a, a steal of a price. But anyway, hope you guys like this. Come check us out on uh, TRS Royals, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Give us a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it and helps out. And uh, yeah, look at that. And oh, by the way, we named this guy Mac. Um, again, a reference to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And... Uh, if you guys follow that show at all, we're going to end up pairing him up to our DG female, Yo-Yo. And, uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. And uh, we'll see you on another one.